Hi, this is Daisy Black, Bossier Parish Community College. We are in Module 4, Division of Polynomial Expressions. This is Video 2. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about dividing a polynomial by a monomial. All we've done so far is divide monomials. So if you go to your class notes, let's look at an example. I have a polynomial 4x squared plus 8x plus 12, and it says to divide it by 4. If you look very closely, that division bar goes all the way across, which means you're not dividing just the first term by 4, you're dividing all of them by 4. So the main goal of today's lesson is for you to realize you need to break these apart into separate division problems. We don't divide a huge polynomial. We break it up into its separate little monomials. So what we're really doing is we're dividing 4x squared by 4. We would get 1x squared. We would divide 8x by 4 and get 2x. And then we would divide 12 by 4 and get 3. So all we're doing today is taking a polynomial expression and breaking it up into smaller terms. Let's go up to the board and look at example 3 in your notes. I want to divide 15x squared y by negative 10xy squared by negative 5xy. And I'm dividing it by 5xy. Well, that means we have three division problems going on here. So I highly suggest you write that as three division problems. So take your first monomial by 5xy. Take your second monomial, 5xy. Take your third monomial, 5xy. Okay, now we're back to what we did the previous day. We divide the coefficients, we get 3. We divide variables, we subtract exponents. 2 take away 1 is 1. We divide these variables. That's y to the first divided by y to the first, which would be y to the 0. But we've already discussed that. We don't ever write y to the 0. y to the 0 is the number 1. So what we do is we cross these out. They make a 1. We don't need to write the 1 because we wouldn't write 3x1. Because 3x times 1 is just 3x. So because that 1 is connected by multiplication, we do not need to write it. Go here. Coefficients. Negative 10 divided by 5, negative 2. x divided by x. That's 1 take away 1, which would be 0. There is no such thing as x to the 0. That would make the number 1. But there's no reason to write that 1, because that 1 times this 2 is still going to leave us a 2. y squared divided by y to the first is y. But now we come to the third term. And this is where the problem is. We're dividing the exact same thing, 5xy divided by 5xy. And if you've seen previously, when we divide the same thing, it crosses out. So your gut reaction is to cross that out. The problem is, you can't leave me a blank spot. There's a minus sign here. There's got to go something behind it. Well, we just talked about this. When you divide the same exact thing in algebra, it's like dividing the same exact thing in arithmetic. Dividing the same thing gives you a value of 1. The reason why this 1 is important is because it's not connected by multiplication. That 1 is connected to the rest of the expression by subtracting. And think, it like, think about it like this. If I had a million dollars and you took one of my dollars away, it would not give me the same result. So it's very important you understand the difference. We do not write a 1 if it's connected by multiplication. But we have to write the 1 when it's connected by either subtract or add. Think of it this way. If you start with three terms and you divide, you should end with three terms. OK, let's look at one more example in our notes. Let's look at example 4. Negative 16x squared plus 36x cubed over 12x cubed. Now we have a binomial, two terms. We're going to divide it by this monomial. So we're going to break this up into two division expressions. OK, the problem is you look and you say, wait a minute, 16 cannot divide by 12. You're right. But because this is a fraction bar, this is a fraction. You can't leave the fraction 16 over 12. You need to reduce it. 
So how do you reduce it? You find a common number you could divide both 16 and 12 by, which is 4. So 16 divided by 4 would leave us a negative 4. 12 divided by 4 would give us a 3. Now we're going to divide the variables. We subtract exponents. 2 and 3, when you subtract, will leave you x to the first. That x to the first is going to go in the denominator because that's where there are more x's. Think of it this way. You take those two away, they're gone. You take two away from three, you're left with that one x. Now we go to the next division. 36 divided by 12 divides nicely. That's three. x cubed divided by x cubed is going to cross out. It makes the number one. Remember, three minus three is zero. x to the zero is one. Why am I not writing the one? Because that 1 would be right next to that 3, which means it would be multiplication. And 1 times 3 is 3. So, all we've learned today is that when you're doing division of polynomial expressions, you're really breaking it apart into monomials. And once you divide monomials, you're using your same rules. You divide your coefficients, and then you subtract your exponents. Okay, have a great day. Thank you.